Welcome back! Eternal Dragon here with what is essentially a flashy update of my old Promethean Pinball Zane build. I present the updated and likely last Zane build for my channel, Final Zane. Now for this build we are throwing every god tier Zane trick I know into one build to create something unstoppable. So in the first slot, we have the Guardian Angel Shotgun from Vault Card 1. This gun isn't necessary, but it is nice to have available to increase your damage in a really tight situation. Swapping to the Angel when you have fired a slow moving projectile from a different gun can increase the damage of that shot by up to 500% based on your damage to your target. Consecutive hits is a solid choice for the Anoint on this one, but your favorite Anoint can work here too. In the second slot we have a Cryo Complex Root. This gun is a well known monster that you can farm from Lanny Dixon at Ashfall Peaks in DLC 3. Firing this gun even once can obliterate entire mob groups once its projectile splits. Now we are going cryo, as it is impossible to not hit yourself with the gun on this build uh, due to all the expanded splash radius. By using a cryo root, we can avoid applying a DOT to Zane when he hits himself. Now as we expect into salvation in your blue tree, your life will also stay full during this barrage, and definitely anoint the root with after skill ends, splash damage is increased by 125%, to max out its damage, and then use this gun to create an Ice Age from which your enemies will never escape. In the third slot is the Creamer. This heavy is your one-shot boss destroyer. It's found in DLC 1 from Junpai Goat Eater at the Spend Opticon on the Handsome Jackpot. Now the Creamer works great on mobs too, but it has a slightly slower clear time than the route for mobbing. This gun has a few really great gimmicks. The first of which is its Moxie Stamp, which gives it 100% lifesteal. Secondly, the Creamer shoots a rocket in a straight trajectory that explodes at a set distance, dealing non-elemental damage, and after the mid-air explosion, the rocket splits into two new diverging rockets 
that explode on impact and deal non-elemental splash damage as well. With Eraser creating another projectile on critical hit, which we will always get due to our class mod Hustler, this means that you can overlap your explosion radius like four times, and that's before we proc playing dirty to guarantee a second projectile on each shot. The damage that you can generate here is really unbelievable. Anoint the creamer with ASE Splash 125 as well. In the fourth slot is a x6 Globetrotter anointed with under 50% gain 100% radiation damage. You can use any elemental variation here as this is your get up gun. If you are down and you need a fast second win, just fire this gun a few times. Swapping over to the Angel after those shots then basically guarantees a second win on anything but a big solo boss. This gun drops from the Scourge in the Guardian Takedown. Now in our shield slot we have a Reflect Beskar so that we can make use of my signature trick, Dragon Reflect. I've covered how to do this trick in previous videos, but the basic idea is that once you are downed and get a second wind while wearing this shield, you will reflect incoming projectiles without taking shield damage. Melee and splash damage will still apply as regular, but the projectiles will bounce back as well. The reflected projectiles will then become your shots and can thusly trigger your skills like Salvation and Brain Freeze. Watching enemies freeze themselves solid by shooting you really is pretty darn funny, and the damage this build can already do allows us to use a more defensive shield than is often seen on eraser builds, which tend to rely on shields for damage or protection from your own elemental DOTs. For a grenade, I went with the Cloning Maddening Tracker. Anointed with On Grenade Throw, Weapon Grenade and Action Skill damage are increased by 25%. You can use your favorite grenade in this slot, it's the anoint that really matters more than anything, as the randomly fired grenade from your duct tape mod skill will proc this anoint. For the relic we are going with the toboggan, now make sure you get one with an AoE passive bonus in the second or third position on this artifact, as that will also give you a secret bonus to your splash radius as well. Sadly this bonus is not present on next gen consoles. An extra movement speed roll is great here too. And the toboggan is used twofold on this build to really increase your damage potential simply by sliding and activating its ability while also activating Zane's speed based damage abilities while sliding 100% faster than normal. Fire during a slide for an amp shot and incredibly increased damage from Zane's skills. You can farm this artifact in arms race. In the comp slot we have the previously mentioned hustler. You can farm for this in DLC 4 as a world drop or from Locomobius at Sapphire's run in Krieg's Mind. Make sure you get the splash radius and damage rolls on this comm to trigger the huge radius explosions that you've seen so far. The last passive should be weapon critical damage as this will enhance the effect of the Hustler comm itself as well. The way that this comm interacts with the Eraser skill will guarantee critical hits which create giant overlapping explosions which then double dip their damage off of each other and break the damage cap very reliably as long as you have all of your skills and your amp shield up. Getting a plus 5 brain freeze for the skill makes for a god roll on this comm that will allow you to flash freeze entire zones. Going to the purple skill tree, we're putting 3 into deja vu to keep ammo in your clip with all the crits, and then points into man of action for better control while slide shooting. 5 into Headsman's Hand and Commitment for damage, and then grab Fugitive so that you can fire for more damage in cases where you can't slide easily. Hey, you can still sprint and shoot. 5 points into Art of War, because ideally you will be proccing this skill 10 times before attempting a boss 1 hit, then 3 into Eraser, and finally grab the Capstone, our man Flint, so that by holding ADS, you can increase your damage by another 25%. Spec the cannon as a skill for easy stacks on Art of War, and then also so that you can use the augment, no way out, to increase the damage that you deal to any enemy that you've hit with your cannon by yet another 25%. As your other augment, grab proliferation so that you can fire your cannon more times quickly. In blue, just buy out the top row. Cold Bore is essential as weapon swapping between shots is another place that this build pulls massive cryo damage from. The skills Violent Speed and Violent Momentum feed each other and are where Zane's crazy damage comes from. The faster you move, the more damage you deal. Two points in Salvation for life gain, and then the Midstone as it adds more damage to the build overall. Going down we put five points into playing Dirty, as this will essentially guarantee that you always fire uh, two projectiles instead of one, 
And each time you fire your cannon, you can proc this, and this thusly guarantee that you give yourself five more guaranteed shots with that extra projectile. In the red tree, we only need to grab the damage skills Synchronicity and Donnybrook with a point in duct tape mod so that Zane becomes immune to his own splash damage, and we'll occasionally shoot a grenade that will trigger the OGT anointment. Then, three points in Supersonic Man to move even faster. Finally over to green, no points there, but do grab the barrier as your second skill, as it will amp all shots that pass through it while you have it active for, <laughs> you guessed it, more damage! So, that's my final word on Zane. Hope you all enjoyed the video and found something that you can use for yourself here. So after some research, I've found out, did you know that just by liking and commenting on this video, you can help it be seen by more people? If you subscribe and then immediately watch a different video from my channel, that will do even more to help. In fact, anytime you watch two of my videos in a row, one of them gets recommended to someone else. So if you're enjoying my videos, that's how you can help me grow and be seen. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming!